Hi, in this video I want to teach you how to make this cutie, a scarf with a hood and ears, or cowl. It's very easy to make. Any beginner can make this piece. Uh, this is for any size kid. You can make this. This one is a little bit big for my model. Um, uh, uh, this one will fit around a year to four, and my model is from zero to three months. If I want to make this bigger or smaller, it's very easy. You just have to do more chain or less. You can do this for a baby, kid, teenager or adult. Um, you only have to do the chain bigger or smaller. So in the beginning when you do the chain you just have to measure the chain. If I want to do it this is smaller for my model I just have to do the chain from here around her head to the other side. But no pulling the chain that will be too tight. Just leaving nice and loose. That way it's half a nice loose fit to the baby. Uh, the other one that I made for adults, I don't recommend for kids because the infinitive scarf can be rubbed around. Uh, if they're playing around outside, they can get stuck in a branch or something. So this one it will be a safer um, piece for a baby or a kid. So this one I will recommend. So and now I'm going to leave you here with the list of material you're going to need to make this beautiful piece. To make this collar with a hood, or cowl, or neck warmer with a hood, for babies, the yarn that I'm going to use is Bernat Softy Chunky, 100% acrylic. This one is white, and super bulky 6. Each ball has 100 gram. And if you don't can find uh, Bernat, because I know Bernat is a Canadian brand, and you can find a different brand, no matter what brand, as long as super bulky six and soft. I like these yarns because they're nice and soft. You can use. This one is true gray and black. The crochet hook that I'm going to use is N or 9 millimeter. You're going to need tapestry needle, scissors, markers, and buttons. They are optionals. To start, we're going to do a slip knot and we're going to do a chain from uh, one side of the baby's neck through the top of the head to the other side. So you're going to start with your chain and we're doing the hood part of your piece. So you're going to do the chain long enough to measure around your baby's head or your child's head. Here I've done 40 chains for mine and this is the tip and this is the part that goes around the neck and the shoulder. Um, you can do any size you like. For example, if this is the baby head. And this here is each side in between the shoulder and the neck. You're going to do a chain that you will measure from that side to the top of the head to the next side, but leave it nice and loose. Don't go um, pulling down, just leave it nice and loose. Okay? That's what you're going to do. And that way you can do any size you like. And uh, if you are doing it for a present, uh, don't matter if you measure because the kid or the person that you're making this with, they don't want to know what you're doing, or you can measure with the measuring tape. I measure my, sh my chain and I measure 40 centimeters or 16 inches. We're going to start with a chain of three. And we're going to go to the fifth chain from the hook and we're going to do a double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Why the number fifth? That is because number four is the first chain. And then the three make the first double crochet. So it's on top of the first chain, a number four. And then the second chain go on number five and like that. And you will have your amount of chain that you did of double crochet. So you're going to do this with the gray color for two row. It will be one double crochet on top of each 
double crochet. Here I finish this row, the first row, but since I want to show for those beginners, uh, just in case they want to make this piece and they don't know uh, how to crochet that much and they don't know how to turn your work, you're gonna come here at the end after you finish your double crochet and top of the last chain, you're gonna chain three. Turn your work around and now you're gonna do again one double crochet and top of each double crochet. And this chain three is on top of this last double crochet. So you have to go to the next and top of the next one and do your second double crochet. And on top of each one of them until you get to the end. So I'll meet you here at the end of this row. I'm gonna finish uh, row number two. I have my two loops uh, before I finish the last uh, double crochet. I have two loops in the hook. Now I have a slip knot on the with a white. I'm going to pass it through those two. Now I'm going to pull a little bit this one here and now you can cut your gray and you're going to chain three with a white and later I will lose those tails. Turn your work around and you're going to do a double crochet on top of each double crochet with a white but just for one row. After we finish with the white we're going to start with the black. Now we're going to start with the black and we're going to do the same that we did with the gray and white. We have the two white loops here and we're going to pass the black. And now we're going to chain three. And I'm going to cut my white. And turn my work around. And I'm going to do two row with the black. This first first row of the black is halfway of the hood because you're going to repeat exactly the same. Another row of black, one white and two gray. If you are using a thinner yarn, if you don't can find a thick yarn like this one and then you have to do more row of each color and depend on the size of the person's head too. But if you're using one color, you will do eight row at that same color. But I recommend a thick yarn that way look nice and thick and bulky the piece. Remember, you have to do another black, one white, and two gray for a total of eight row. Here I finished the hood part, and I measure in centimeter, and it has 48 centimeters long by 18 and a half centimeters for the width and I did two row of gray, one of white, two of black, one white and two and two gray and that is the part of the hood finish. You're gonna divide the piece in half like this and this piece with the chain will be for the front and this is with one strand of yarn going to be for the back. This one will fit, fit around from one to three years old and if you want it uh, smaller uh, you can do last chains and use a smaller crochet hook and that will make the piece smaller and depend on the size of the yarn hook you're using it will be the size of this all the tensions are not the same when uh, you use different yarn. If you want a bigger you will, and you're using this yarn, you will do a few more uh, chain um, and a few more double crochet and you can add one row of black in the middle and that will give you one more row and it will be bigger. So you have to play around with the size of the yarn and the hook and the person that you want to make this uh, piece for. Here I'm going to chain three and I continue with the yarn that I was using. I'm going to come to the other end and I'm going to go to the top chain 
I'm going to do a slip stitch, chain one, and you're going to cut your yarn, leaving a tail, and then you're going to cut a piece of yarn for sewing the back of the hood. When you cut your yarn, here, I'm going to cut mine, what I'm going to do, I'm going to undo this here, because when I start sewing this part in the back, it's easier with this open on the front. Okay, so now we're going to start sewing this part here. Here you have the tapestry needle with a piece of yarn, and you're going to do a slip knot, leaving a long enough tail, just in case you want to, uh, this will stay pointy, if you want to remove that point from the top of the hood, you do that with a tail that you leave here. So the slip knot, and you're going to pass through the center. And when you come here, you're going to pass it through that stitch there, or that loop. You're going to pull, and that will make that tight. You're going to go into the inside, and you're going to hold it there, and you're going to come in a zigzag, and you're going to grab one from this side, one stitch. You will see them easy. You have to make sure that you have even uh, the stitches, you see this one with that one, like that, very even, because when you start sewing, you want it even here at the end. So, you're going to go to the other side, and come to this one, to that one, and a zigzag, you're going to sew this till the end. And that strand of yarn that you have left there from where you cast your chain. So, I will continue off camera. You're going to end with your piece like this. You see I have the tail inside here. I already lost the tail for here at the end. And you fold it in half. This is the hood. And then uh, later, I don't going to do this here now because when I finish, I will decide if I like it with a point or without the point. If I like it without the point, what I do is through the inside, I will sew that point like that off. But for now, I will leave it like that. And now, I'm going to come back here. And I'm going to do my slip stitch at the end. I'm going to pull it through, and now I'm going to sew off that tail, and you're going to end with a piece like that. That's for the head to come through. If you found the uh, three chain here, don't give enough space for the head. You can do four, you can do five, um, but remember this will get bigger here, the open for the face, but you can fold the last row in here, and it will look really nice too. Like now we're going to be working in the color part and you're going to go here at the center and pass your hook and I have already a slip knot. I'm going to pass it through and I'm going to chain three and that counts as the first double crochet. And I'm going to do double crochet all the way around, where, wherever I can put one. Okay, Just like this, I'm going to lose the tails as I go. Just like this, all the way around. When I finish this row, I will let you know how many double crochet I did in mine. Here I'm going to finish row uh, number one, and I did 48 double crochet counting those three chain. 
I'm going to do slip stitch and I'm going to change color. For the part here, I'm going to do one row with the gray, one with the white, one with the black, and then I'll start again. One with the white and one with the gray. I'm doing less, only five rows for here because I tried to do uh, the same amount that I did here and it's too much for the baby or the kid's um, neck. I get too much. <coughs> Excuse me. But if you want it with more, you can do exactly what we did here. Two gray, one white, two black, one white, and two gray. But for me, I'm just going to do one and one. And repeating the white and the gray. Only one black. Um, if you want this wider, after you do your 48, you want a little bit wider, you can do uh, three double crochet in three different space, and then the next pair in the number four, you can do two together. Three separate and two together. Three separate and two together. All the way around, that will give you a little more of a flare here. But for me, I'm going to do one and top, double crochet on top of each double crochet with the other color. So I will do mine off camera and I will show you the end result. Remember, one gray, if you do it like mine, is one gray, one white, one black, one white, and one gray. Something else that I wanted to mention, if you like, you can do this part with a gray color without changing to the white and the black. Here I did my slip stitch. I'm going to chain one, cut the yarn, and I'm going to lose all the tails that I have this one and all the ones that I have inside. And you're going to end with your piece like that. If you like, you can leave it just like this, or you can make the ears. Uh, for the ears, you will need a smaller crochet hook. To make the ears, uh, the crochet hook that I'm going to use is K. 10 and a half or 6.5 millimeter. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna need the marker too. I'm gonna start with a cir magic circle. I do it here on top of my nail. I pull the yarn like that with the hook, and you will end it with like that. You just give it a little twist to your rest, and then you pass your yarn through, and you have secure your magic circle and you have chain one. Now you're going to do six single crochet in the magic circle and make sure that it's between the tail and that uh, yarn there. Three, four, five, and six. You're going to pull the tail very tight and we're going to start working Omigurumi style, so we're going to crochet in the round. So we're going to come here to the first single crochet and instead to do a slip stitch in that space we're going to do a single crochet. And we're going to place the marker in that space. Now we're going to do two together in the next one. In one single crochet in the next one. Two together in the next one. And one in the next one. And two together. You always will finish with two together and the one behind the marker. So you finish there, you will remove the marker. And you will do a single crochet in that space. And you place your marker. And now you do another single crochet. And two together. One separate. And another one. Two separate. And two together. one and two separate and if you did it right you'll have two together and the one behind the marker the next row gonna be 
three separate and two together. Three separate and two together until you get to this one here where you do the two together behind the marker. And I'll meet you here to show you what we're gonna do next. Here I'm gonna finish this row and I'm making the two together, but instead to finish the last two together, that one I still have open and I'm gonna grab the black yarn. I did a, um, a slip knot and I'm gonna pass it through there, that loop. I'm gonna pull the white and remove the marker. And I'm gonna do a single crochet on top of each single crochet with no increase. Just like that. And you don't have to place the marker because you know there was your first uh, where you start the row. Now I'm gonna cut the white and I'm gonna lose that tail as I work. Like that. Here I'm gonna finish with a slip stitch. And now we're gonna put it like this, right? With the stitch in the tip there, and we're gonna do single crochet all the way around with the black. And then a half a double crochet here. Sorry. Half a double crochet, and now a double crochet in the tip, and half a double crochet in here. And that's for the tip of the ear, and single crochet on the other side. I'm gonna do one more here. Chain one, and that tail will be for sewing. Now you have to make two ears the same, like that. Here I have my two ears exactly the same, and now we're gonna mark how we're gonna do, how we're gonna sew them. Here I place two marker. Here from the center, I have a center stitch here, a center uh, double crochet, and I count one and two in, each, in this side, and one and two in this side. And then the third one I put a marker, and then the third one I place the marker. And now with the ears, you're going to place it here, with the tip at this one, and top at the marker, you know where the marker is, and that stitch of the marker. And the tip in this end, you're gonna sew it almost touching the white in a little angle. You don't want to do a straight like that. You want it in a little angle. And the same with the other one here. You want to do them in an angle. And when you sew them, try to do a little angle to them like this. That way they're nice and round in the back. So I'm gonna do mine off camera because it's no point for me to try to show you black and black. You don't gonna see anything. So I'm going to explain you how you're going to do. With this tail, you're going to sew together. You see this is separate. But you're going to sew, uh, sew together these two pieces. And that way it will be easier for you when you're going to sew them. And then you grab another uh, piece of yarn. Or leave the tails long enough to do that and to sew. And what you're going to do is with your tapestry needle, you're going to do from inside up and down, up and down, no in a zigzag, that way they stay up. For example, I'm going to show you like this, you bring it down, you tapestry needle like that, you bring all the yarn down and you bring it up, sewing the hood to the border of the ear. So I will do mine off camera and I will show you the end result. You're going to end with your piece like this. And here is where you will decide if you want it with a point here or you want it without it. If you want it without it, you will bring it inside out and you will sew the tail here, cutting this like that, sewing here. 
and when you turn around it will be more like this like that but for kids I like it pointed like that for adults don't look as good but for kids it looks really cute so I'm gonna lose that tail and I will put it on in my mannequin and remember my mannequin is from zero to three months so this will be quite big on it this one is around from after one year to four four and a half if you want to put a button or two on yours you can do it just right there but for mine I'm gonna leave it just like that well this is the end result I just love the, the how's it look uh, remember my model is from zero to three months is that's why I look uh, too big but if you want to do it around that's the size of my model you will have to do a chain from this shoulder here all around the baby's head to the other side that's how you're gonna measure the chain like that from shoulder to shoulder and you see this one is for a, a bigger kid and well I hope you guys like it and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber and if you give it a try and want to send me a picture I gonna leave you here my Facebook information and have a beautiful day and I gonna show you the beautiful day I have in here uh, outside my window this is my day uh, through my window it's uh, been snowing sun yesterday and it's beautiful and white if I have a baby I will be outside with a little uh, crochet scooty playing in the snow well enjoy your beautiful day ciao